COP is uh, referred to as the Conference of Parties. Uh, it is a uh, meeting of uh, all of the um, various leading officials across uh, different countries that have agreed to reduce their uh, carbon emissions uh, in order to uh, stop the climate uh, crisis. Um, it's a very important process if they are listening to the people and if it is uh, community driven and if it uh, ensures uh, uh, practices that are going to uh, eliminate uh, racial injustice uh, and uh, make sure that all uh, rising uh, tides are lifting uh, all uh, boats. Uh, it's an extremely important process, whether you're on the inside uh, or whether you're on the outside. There are a lot of uh, great relationship building and communications and meetings, as I mentioned, uh, with the people uh, and knowing each other, sharing best practices, for our own survival and ability uh, to thrive and have a just transition. Uh, I think this space is extremely um, important, especially now the IPCC report or the integrated panel uh, of uh, governmental panel has indicated that we have about seven years left to solve this crisis um, and we need all the best minds, local communities, uh, those in the African diaspora that are on the front lines of this crisis have, their, have the best uh, solutions um, and need the resources and the tools to ensure their community's uh, resilience. So our voices there to influence that process uh, is extremely important uh, so that we can bring it down to the ground, to the grassroots uh, where it's going to matter. Making sure these systems are equitable, making sure these systems are what the people want and what the people need uh, and so when these hurricanes occur, the mudslides, the floods, uh, when grid power uh, lines go down, uh, it will be community that can say, you know, we have power outages all the time. We have floods all the time. We've endured these hurricanes. So we need resilience hubs. We need our electric uh, grid uh, modernized. We need access. My children have asthma, if that's the case. We need the electric vehicles to, to be deployed in our community. High unemployment, major black uh, to white wealth gap. How can we bridge that gap and benefit from the green economics by bringing these uh, just and clean jobs to uh, our communities. And so it is the voices that will matter. And I will stop with the great man that I admire, uh, Julian Bond, who told me once, if you don't speak, no one can hear you.